In this video, we will look at joining multiple Excel worksheets in Tableau. And in order to do so, I'm going to break this video up into three steps. So in the first step, we'll create a simple data model having three entities. In the second step, we will, we will convert each of these three entities into three Excel worksheets. And lastly, we will join these three worksheets using Tableau. So let's start with the first step, which is creating our data model. And for that, I'm going to create what is known as a relational schema using a tool called ERD+. So the first entity I'm going to create is an employee. And this employee we will, will have two attributes, an employee ID and an employee name. Now an employee belongs to a department, so our second entity is going to be department. And again, the department will have two attributes, a department ID and a department name. Now at different stages in their life, an employee can belong to different departments. So in order to capture that information, I'm going to create another entity called EMP department. It will contain the employee ID, the department ID, the start date and the end date. So at this point, use, uh, using an ERD diagram, I will also represent the relationship between the three entities. And that's pretty useful for us to know. So here's one relationship between employee and employee ID. Uh, so please note that an employee can have multiple entries in the EMP department table, but not the other way around. That is, one EMP department entry corresponds to one employee. And similarly, we have a similar relationship between EMP department and department. Well, it's not really necessary for, for you to know this, but it might be nice to pause this video and see if this makes sense. Now we will translate that into an Excel worksheets rather. So we have our first worksheet, which is EMP, and that has ID and name as the columns. And I'm going to put some dummy data there and just uh, expand that so it's clearly visible. Similarly for department, we have the department ID and name. And again, I'm going to put some dummy data. And finally, our EMP department data. So again, some more dummy data out here. So I'm just making sure that I have I have all my employees and all my departments covered. And I'm not going to be very adventurous regarding the start and end dates. All right, so there's my data. So just pause the video for a moment once again and just get a sense of the data. So now we are ready to load this Excel file into Tableau. So we connect to an Excel file. We pick up our Excel file and open it. And you then see this three sheets out here. So now I'm going to drag the, uh, a sheet in no particular order. So I'm going to drag employee and then emp department. So it's interesting to see that Tableau tries to join uh, the columns of, from both worksheets. But in this case, since there is no common column name, it shows us this uh, warning signal or error signal. So we need to help uh, sort this problem. So I'm going to pick up uh, the left table, which is employee, and select the ID column and join it to the right entity, which is the EMP ID column. Okay, and then you immediately see that the warning sign goes away. And here is our data. So I would at this point just look at our data and make sure that it's looking well. And now finally, we drag the department uh, worksheet and try to join the uh, department with the EMP department worksheet. So for that, I'm going to click out here. And I will then join the department ID column with the ID column from the department worksheet. All right, so this is how things stand. And I could click on, so we have two inner joins out here. And I could click and to see the join details on this one and similarly on this one. And then once again, as I said, I could always look at my data and just see that everything looks fine. 
So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video, we saw how to join three worksheets in an Excel workbook. Thanks a lot.